able to, uh, uh, to, to exchange, yes, to put new things and take new words away, like we said earlier, of course. So don't, don't go yet, we have one more. Go back, we have one more. Yeah. Only stakeholders can enforce change. Passengers hardly do. Why? Passengers are passive people. They have, you know, I told you that there are indicators to know who are not diligent followers. They are protesters. They complain so much. They have no contribution, no su suggestion, no advice for you, because they are not stakeholders. So they are passengers. So I don't know understand what this is saying. Our chairman will be back all the time. We don't even, we don't even see police. This righteous man will send the audience messages. That's all he does. He doesn't tell the man, why don't you use another medium to reach us? He doesn't advise, he doesn't contribute, he doesn't ask him the question why he doing what he doing. He's not interested. Huh? He, his own is to bring him down because he's a passenger. But when there's anything good coming out of him, they shout, make the highest noise. Oh, that's my chairman. Oh, that doing the yes. Because benefits are coming for all and Sunday. But even though it has not. So, but this time around, the change of change continues to organization without structure is part of the house. Some of the crisis we have been having over the years is due to the structure we keep in NIP. You keep council here at the top to make policy. And that council may not meet more than one or twice in a year. But the chapter chairman continues monthly, weekly, and daily, founding the chapters and the members. And yet they are kept off guard. The information is maybe circular from the secretariat, which you may get two in a year or four maximum, especially on critical issues. Let me give you a few examples. This is uh, August 2nd, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Those of you, chapter chairman and second, who have received circular from the National Secretariat reminding us about payment of our dues for year 2014, raise up on our Is this council issue? Are the council members coming to meet on that? And you, if you do it on your own initiative, yes, you may. But the weight will be so low because it's not expected from your table. Members' response will be very passive, will be very slow, will be very limited. So because the structure is not right. So these are the issues that we want to look at. Because the sector is supposed to, by the end of the analytical first week of February, we should be having letters through the chairman and their secretaries to all members in the chapter, distributed at meetings of the chapter, these are your letters and so on. The reinforcement does come through emails on the telephone or text messages from the secretary. And that is the reason why you see, with my own personal effort for the office of the president for now, I have officers who are helping me to tackle some of these issues until council will reason with me that we're supposed to have that structure in the secretary. Because I suppose to see somebody who's a stand director or a, a whole director in charge of chapter issues. Chapter issues. Chapter issues are key issues. If you see the key drivers of is when we come to ITR uh, session after the other papers. We are coming back to live there. Because you cannot be a rich man when you are burying the sources of your money. Not your money now, the sources. Assuming that when the white men discover oil in South, South and South East, assuming that what we did was to be putting to, to be putting hills of cement, stone and pebbles on them rather than digging them. Are we going to have oil? <laughs> we will not. So that's what we do. Of course. The next one is focus is the coordinator's strength. As the chairman of the chapter, you need focus. If you don't have focus, you will not be able to do anything. Don't forget, 
chairmanship of the chapter is not your full time employment, is it? No way. No. You are not on salary. No. You still have to do your normal job. Yes. Feed your family, yes. pursue your life goals, your uh, improve your educational status, and your chief chasing matters you are pursuing, <laughs> your political <laughs> position that you want to be. All these are still there. This is just one. Because a man is a member of overlapping institutions. Overlapping institutions. Only one man is a member of Catholic Church, is a member of uh, Red Cross, is a member of uh, Rotary Club, is a member of uh, the this society, is a member of that, is a, parents, a member of the parents' city A man is a, or a woman is a member of overlapping institutions. And you must share your time, share your value, share your resources, share your whatever to achieve this. So focus is a necessity for anybody leading on any platform anywhere, whether at the presidency, Asian level, or chairmanship level. It's very key. Since I became the president, I received 85 complaints and 15 pieces of advice and recommendation. I've done the analysis. Today I received 14 complaints about this retreat and three encouragements and two pieces of advice. That is my normal life style since December 13, and I'm keeping my record. I'm a very good record keeper. Maybe because I started as a stenographer, so I tap it and put it and find it. I can even tell you the sources. I can analyze sources. The issue is this. I told two of them, one directly and one by the I am riding bicycle. I think I've shared that with you before, for the years now. I'm riding what? And when you are riding bicycle, where do you look? Forward. Okay. When you do like this, what happens to you? When you do like that, what happens to you? And to put just my point, last week, I had a newspaper at Cut and Fire. Because I don't have a session with my own person with you, I would have gone, gone full blast. A woman was carrying a baby at the back. A basket of plantain at the ex back. And a, a very small parcel of firewood in the front. And then another bag on the head. And then she was riding with one hand because she was carrying a keg of kerosene. <laughs> and she was riding. And I called my workers around me. I said, come, come and look at something. Look at what a woman is doing. Child at the back, planting in the extreme back, a firewood in front. Uh, uh, on the head, and can also on the left. And she, was, and she was still going. What is that? Focus. Highest focus. Focus of the highest focus. focus. That's a good leader. If you are detracted once and you lose your balance and you fall, kerosene will pour you in. The child will be your heart. The bag will tear and the content will pour on the street. And possibly a trailer will run over you. It might not be a regular trailer. It will be a trailer of everything. Political trailer, economic trailer, social trailer. <laughs> anyway, finally. My confidence. Yes, sir. Sorry to interject. Please, you are very free. Yes, um, the, 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 the scenario we're building for us now is very realistic and ideal, but I'm looking from another perspective. Yes. Somebody with a load on the head, a child behind, yes. the planting, and the other stuff. Then ends up riding the bicycle, holding one handle, and then having the a This is very high. This is very high. So, so with the safety perspective, so that's my own job. Where I am, in my own case, I am riding. Don't see what we don't see. Yes. I was not carrying those. I was not carrying them. I was somebody who actually is applying focus. Focus of the highest. Deepest that. But if the focus is maintained, yes. The focus itself is the risk containment strategy. That's right. Because yes. risk is never to be run away from. It's part of life. It's to be contained. And the leader is there to manage number one thing, risk. Number two, service. Number three, continuity. And by what formula? Communication. That's number one. Networking. So you have to build army of supporters to your team. So you must understand your service portfolio and the tools which you use to manage that portfolio. You can't run away from risk. You are actually 
uh, uh, elected because of the risk. Because you need to can carry things. For example, we knew Enagra had no money. And yet, you people go tell me to be president. And on an account of 800,000 in the account as a national institute. You see what they do there. I know that 800,000 cannot even feed all of us until now here. Isn't it? Yeah. And I accepted the risk. It's because you believe I can do something and also promise you I can do something. But since then, are we spending only 800,000? <laughs> But what have what we done? Even without money, we were able to hold council meeting, council retreat. We were able to do uh, a Queenly Memorial Program. Two uh, girls come back. Valentine's Valentine dinner in uh, Abuja. Breakfast in Lagos the same day. So here yeah, we are also in retreat. Publications are going on. So it's risk. You are looking to that to handle risk. And that's why you also need to use communication and then build a net, uh, uh, team by networking. And that's why you are here. Look at number. I didn't expect this number. Even with the situation in the country. And I told my colleagues organizers, I said, look, let's try it out. I believe we can manage. And I'm sure the next we are going to have it, we are going to fund that. Yes. Yes. And people will also bring their own content because the resource, materials, and facilitation will come from among you. If we must have external, maybe one or two, but we must do it ourselves and chart our courses. Yes, goal is a mere progress on the way to perfection. Then I want to achieve my goal. When you achieve your goal, the first thing you discover that you have not started another goal. I called my father one day and said, I'm tired of all the I just had my first child. Living in the room of an umbrella stole my only car. Save for two and a half years to buy the car. I'm not fast to it. And he said, Eh, hey, is that? I said, Yes. He said, I should close my eyes. And he said, What did you see? I said, Not. He said, If you feel yourself because of the car, life will continue. You are the one who is gone. Mm. Why don't you eat my baby <laughs> and take baby of my sleep? When you wake up, you now start thinking about how to buy all that. <laughs> is that because now you have one child? You and your wife in the room and family. Next year, you have promotion, you now get into a two bedroom flat or two bedroom. Additional problem, but you have to buy extra bed, extra pillow, extra fan, and so on. So the higher you go, the worse your problem becomes. So goal is not a goal, it's not a bus stop. It is just the beginning of another. And you must go. So goal is mere progress on the way to perfection. Thank you very much. It's very wrong to have a doctor 
wrote to me your majesty as the president. Because these things are well thought out. And if the institute is to move forward, we must move in the direction the president is leading the institute right now. And uh, the exposition he has given us this morning, because if you are attend this lecture, you will not be less than 100,000 for the day. For attendance. Yes, So my the condition of the other people is is to register my happiness and uh, gratitude and everything to the president for taking this uh, <laughs> And I, I would like to say that now I'm happy that my food didn't, uh, I didn't cast it uh, in vain. This is something. My food is counted. <laughs> So, Mr. President, I would like to urge you, don't relent. We will support you. Even from the Imo chapter, I will give you all the support. You know we have a very good support. Right. So, we will inform the nation and all the things we have to Thank you very much. Chief of Women, I commend you. Uh, my leader, I call you not the culture. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I think what I would like to say is that today we have seen and we are looking ahead at what the Institute will become in the next few months when the President will be talking to us at the second. AGM they will be hosted before maybe we do another elections. He has come as a leader and from what he has told us, he's somebody who is not just talking but practicalizing what he believes in. And that is the only way we can move forward by recognizing those who are at the foot of the battle as foot soldiers to take the institute to a higher level, and that is the chapters and the leaders at the chapter level. Our eyes have really been opened this morning with what the president has told us since his participant uh, communicating with us the leadership uh, chain that he's talking about now. In fact, so many things that I did not know, I think today I have learned a lot. And I think this is going to propel us also as leaders at our only different levels. Uh, the Institute has been so uh, organized in such an omnibus way that we don't even know, as the last speaker has said. We do not know the status of members. We do not know how, you know, we have always been parking without fighting. There is so much of parking in NIPR. And I want to believe that is one issue we will also look at because we are the chapters, we are at a loss as to what to do in order to bring time a bit to this profession. So we are all here to talk and to chat the new course forward. Thank you very much for this. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that we are known for this uh, we will just take the shots or worry me. It's like this is my reaction. Yeah. Yeah. When you want to build the leadership, that uh, will actually engender collaborative uh, development and bring you results. That is just the design. There, there must be plans, and these plans must be agreeable to all and sundry. Because if you don't agree to the plan the national body has, 
As a chairman of a chapter, you cannot implement what you do not buy. So the first thing to do is to have a, 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 an agreeable plan. And then we now need to build a relationship, a working relationship, a symbiotic relationship, a professional relationship, a communication relationship that will be able to transform the plans into actions. Of course, in the era of ICT, you cannot successfully implement any plan without data. For example, the first challenge I had that we don't know how many members NRDR has. We don't know. We are only assuming. On paper, we have 12,000 plus. But as financial members, we have less than 2,005. How then do you think NIPR will compare with NIM and ICANN? If you have less than 3,000 financial members, and the highest subscription for a member is 7,000 Naira per annum being a fellow. So it was like a bicycle in the 60s, uh, sorry, a, a cigarette in the 60s. There were cigarettes like um, um, bicycle, gold leaf, um, targets, golden, moon, and so on. Then another company that introduced another cigarette and call it Mercedes Benz. Bicycle was selling for two for one penny. A Mercedes Benz came to sell for four for one penny in order to beat bicycle with the uh, volume, not, not price. And the, in the radio analysis, the economics who was analyzing to floor the Mercedes product said, what is actually glorious and valuable in a Mercedes that is selling for four for one penny? If bicycle can sell for two for one penny, I think Mercedes should sell for maybe one for one shilling. But there's no prestige in a Mercedes by a cigarette that's selling for four for one penny. Well, bicycle cigarette was selling for two for one penny. So if fellow of NRPR is 7,000 per annum, and we are 2,000 plus, how will you compare with NIM or Institute of Marketing or IOD whose fellows are paying between 60,000 and 120,000 per annum? So you cannot then be surprised with the kind of houses they are building all over. But even with that, our data is empty. Our data is empty because we do not have database at chapter levels. That's the first place to start with. At the chapter level, you must have database. How many financial members, how many nominal members. Then on monthly basis, how many people join us and formalize. And of course, we must be able to have uh, audits of our activities. When we talk of audits in Nigeria, our mind is always going to financial audits. Those auditors who come and be asking after money and so No, everything you do must be subjected to review. And evaluation. That is the only thing we are talking about. So it is a relationship, it is a leadership that must be run with the power of information that we have a lot of data. You must. Every chapter must have a target of membership. That's where I'm starting from. I'm happy that I take it down. people are here. These are people who, who started with me, even before being the president, on the target for membership. I told the Odo people, you must get minimum of 30 people to go to Abuja if you want to be recognized as a chapter. And they achieved it. Same went for Shu, same went for Ekiti. That is the way to go all over Nigeria. There must be membership target as per the population of the uh, chapters as well as the kind of engagement around there. Where you have a lot of civil service, a lot of um, companies, and so we must. And this must come from the Secretariat. The Secretariat must prepare a, a corporate plan, annual corporate plan, that will go to the council for approval. And when the council approves it, it goes to the chapter chairman for implementation. I was asking at the Secretariat two weeks ago, I had a meeting with all the Secretariat staff with the register. I'm happy Mr. Kuro is there. I asked you, when last did you have your corporate plan? Was there an answer to me? 
Yeah. Yeah, I was not. Because the one I knew we had was 1998 to 99, which I was part of. Since 1999, nobody has drawn corporate plan, annual corporate plan for Institute of Public Relations. What then do you want to achieve? As the PR consultant to ICANN, in the last seven years, every year we have ICANN business plan. In 2009, from publication, the budget of ICANN was 25 million on publication. And what we did was very simple. All the 24 subjects of ICANN were packaged into study pack. And each study pack was sold for 1,700 naira. And once you are registering for anything like that, the first thing you must do was to buy the total pack. And then you pay for it, even before your membership or anything will be done. Before your receipt or annual receipt is not enough, your mandate or whatever is not enough, you must buy the total pack. So at the end of the day, they were able to rate in 40 million for publication instead of 25 million. So we, we need to have that kind of thing. We must have it. Then values. You are complaining. People are not paying their dues. Even when the due is very small, 4,000 for associate, 5,000. Because you are not having value. Which value are they paying for? As an IOD member, anywhere I'm going, once I'm taking ARIC in a year, I'm entitled to 20% discount. If I'm going abroad, if I'm taking uh, Lufthansa, I've just, been, I've just been told yesterday that the uh, discount on Lufthansa is now 20% instead of 10%. And when some value and many others come in, and you can work it out with publishing companies or those who want to buy books for their children, for hotels, for anywhere, we must look around values. Because we are looking at leadership. Leadership without value will not have followership. If it has at the beginning, it will lose it at the end. Because it's like if you put a cube of sugar here now, you want to find out in 10 minutes what? Ants. Yes. But you remove the sugar and put stone. Then come back in one hour. What will you see? That's what we'll they are gone. Because they are fair weather friends. Every customer is a fair weather friend. Every member of any institute is a fair weather friend. You keep them as long as you put value on the land. And that is why leadership must work around value. values. Of, com of course, communication is very key. You are here because of communication. Ubini did not come to your chapter. Did he come? <laughs> but he communicated you, either by email or text message or letter. So we must do that on a daily basis. If you live with your wife in the same room and you refuse to talk to each other for one week, what you become of the two of you? <laughs> Yeah, you become neighbors. <laughs> then, then you don't talk again. Then what happened to you in sociology is this. From this, you move like this, you move like that, until you come like this. So and that is why leadership and followership is key. Activities. We are now in an activity. Training, yes, uh, um, excursions, tourism programs, yes, uh, any other one that can be activity. Yeah, dinner, concert, whatever it is. Of course, compensation. If at chapter level you do anything with the national and you don't have any share, nothing comes to your chapter from it. How will you want to do the next one? If members also help you as chapter chairman to package uh, people to partake in your affairs and you don't give them anything, the policy of the present regime, anybody that brings money to the post, of the institute is entitled to 20%, not 10, not 5. It's a policy nobody should buy from you. We were having this meeting as a clear that there the, was suggestion to say, no, because they are receiving their salary, we will not give them 10%. And I said, no, I disagree. It's a different thing. I was a marketing manager of an aluminum company some years back, 1986 to 89. So, and the policy was that if you bring anything to the, co the company, you have two percent. You know, aluminum was a big money. A secretary who was a receptionist secretary who speak out very friendly is from Ekiti, and he called the governor, in, uh, the dead governor of Wakano, uh, and spoke with him. And the governor said, "Okay, meet me at Victoria." And she was able to bring in a business of twenty-six million. 
And then they now pay 2% to the girl. And then the chairman said, no, no, we can't pay the two. I said, no, sir. As the marketing director, we signed an agreement with this agreement. And I brought in the company lawyer. Yeah. We agree. We have to pay. So what we did is such a small girl do is to pay. About 20,000. I said, no. Because if I were to work out, then just 12,000 naira. So no, let's give her a brand new car. I said, no. She didn't sign for a brand new car. She signed for two. Two six cents. So the girl got the money and came to her back to buy a car for 60,000 naira. LSDPC there, 60,000 naira. And she moved with her own sales house. So if you can do that to any member, will they follow you? We don't continue to support you. That's what the NRT has been missing over the years. Because we think we are losing money. But this money is free money coming to you through their effort. If they don't do it, it won't come at all. It's like in advertising. I got to Chibuka as MD and everybody was saying we don't have money. We are only eight months out. I said, you are wasting your time. City on gold mine. A newspaper is a gold mine. I don't see why this people should run and not be able to pay salary. It's only in Nigeria. It's not possible. I paid the eight months salary arrears within five months. And I was trying new cars. Now people ask me, what is the secret? And the secret is simple. Collaborate with your stakeholders and compensate them. You take them your promises. Who stop? Yes. Another person will go out and give agency 15%. But when Prince brings her back, what's his staff? You give him 2%. Where is the remaining 30%? It's not your money. Because there's a policy to say 15% on all actors. So if it's agency, they yeah, give. So if it's not agency, why? They write it. So it is important. Once we do that, then it must be continuous. The promise and the fulfillment must be continuous. And of course, the improvement is the only thing that shouldn't stop. We must be improving on it, improving on it, and then what will come?